I have to go. Someone I have become stronger. Holy crap! Hello, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Planescape Torment. Apparently, almost everyone leveled up. So let's go ahead and take a look at this really quick, and then I guess we'll go and rest to recover my spells, and then I'll be looking to go back to the clerk's ward to sell anything I don't think I'm going to need. And then I decide what I'm doing. I'll probably walk around and see if anything's different. I'd like to see Mabeth and the other lady back down at, um, what was her name? Martha. Marta. Back down in Farad's area before we go anyplace else to see if Ravel's completely dead or if a clone or a memory or echo of her is around here somewhere. In any case, we're leveling up Mort. Congratulations, Mort. Three more hit points. Fighting skills have improved. My blade has shifted. Dakon's blade is probably better. It's probably a stronger weapon. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. Ana gained a fighter level, getting one hit point. Fall from Grace gained two hit points. Her priest's abilities have improved. Five lore as well. And Nordom gained plus one broke proficiency. Saving throws improved and three hit points gained. Awesome. Holy crap. Yes. So let's go ahead and have you learn some more spells. Fall from Grace. We'll take a protection from evil. Aid. Move curse, just in case I end up needing that. Wow, she gets to know another heal spell. Wonderful. I'm gone. While we're here, I guess we'll visit the right. Gathering Dust Bar. In order to do inventory management related things. You know, I expected everything to be different. It looks like nothing's really changed. I like I was I don't know. A whole lot happened to us. I guess I expected a whole lot to happen everywhere else, too. I guess that's actually a good thing that it looks like is everything's let's talk to Emrek really quick. You see Emrek, he's regarding you with a stony gaze. I had some questions for you. Emrek waits. No, there's nothing else here. I must take my leave. Farewell. No new things, huh? Right. Alright, well, holy crap! The Chaos Feather. I will totally take that. We want that. I'm gonna. Alright, hold on, everyone. I'll be back. I'm going to do uh, inventory management off screen. I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, everyone. Inventory management completed. So, I grabbed the Chaos Feather. Holy crap. Remember this? It's only a plus one enchanted weapon, but it breaks and it summons of rock. If I ever want to use it. So, I'm totally taking this along with us. You can see I've, I've emptied some stuff out of my inventory. Not too much, but I have done some of it. We actually have this Scroll of Celestial Host, which you probably should read about. While the various proxies and beings of the Celestial Plains are seen as the embodiment of kindness, compassion, and benevolence, their might easily rivals those of Beator or the Abyss. Woe to those who underestimate the power of the Upper Plains. When cast, a group of powerful phantasms are called to help eradicate all enemies in the 50 by 50 foot area, as their combined attacks inflict 40 through 120 hit points of damage, with no saving throw possible. The phantasms represent some of the most powerful celestial beings from the Upper Plains. Astral Deva, Mace of Disruption, Phoenix, Firestorm, Solar Asimon, Celestial Bowl, and a golden dragon, energy wave. That must be the abilities that they use. Oh man, I wonder, I wonder if that's like Knight of the Round from way back when in Final, Final Fantasy. Seven summoning spell ritual thing. That'd be awesome. I also grabbed the Mortuary Sanctum Key and the Tome of Bone and Ash, which I completely forgot about. We may need these since we're going back to the Mortuary eventually. That con just emptied a few things out, and other than that, I, I think we're good to go. Well, we're good to continue to purchase and or sell things. Yeah, I guess... I, I don't know, everything looks pretty much exactly the way we left it, doesn't it? Like, I don't notice anything different. We still have the thugs walking around. 
There's no panic in the streets. There's no demons invading. I just, I expected everything to be so different. It's, it's amazing to me that it's the, it looks like everything's the same. Okay, so let's, let's get out of here. Where are we going? So, I want to clear my inventory out and purchase anything I think I might need. So, let's, who has the Modron thing? We'll take that back. And, let's, uh, our class negative six. Let's use this. And we'll summon the portal. And we'll use this portal to transport us to Farid's Domain, I'm thinking, is where we'll go. You see the Modron Engineer. Greetings. I have some questions. The creature continues to look at you blankly. State your question. I want to use the portal lens to travel somewhere. State your destination, Director. Oh, I wanted to go to a particular place. Alright, uh, Weeping Stone Catacombs. That's close enough. Holy crap, I have not been here in forever. Dumb. Good as done. Are these heads still here? Holy crap! Seems like just yesterday we were killing them over and over again. I think I just uploaded the parts where I was in the Dead Nation to yesterday or today. Man, remember those things? The Vargas or Varghuls? Floating heads? Holy crap. Good for us. Let's see if we can get back to Farid's area. Still haven't figured out where that orb, that golden egg thing that we have is going to be used at. Dumb. Oh, can we walk through the gate? The guard straightened slightly. You got the money to pay the toll? How much? For you? 50 coins. I suppose I can do that. Smile reads his ugly face. That's good enough. Pass it through. Open the gate. Here you go. He half it. Coin spilling through his finger says, feels like enough. I remember when that was a lot of money for us. No, it's, that's like absolutely nothing. They probably should shut the gate behind them. You don't want anything else wandering out of, out of there. Alright, so... All right. I want to visit Quint and sell a bunch of stuff, and then we'll see Marta. That's... that's the current plan. I don't think there's anything left in Farad's place, and we already know he's... he's dead. I somehow don't think there's anything there that we missed. Hello, Quint. Wow, I have not talked to you in a long time. What you want, huh? Let's trade. Okay, holy crap, it's been a long, long time. Is he, I don't think he's selling anything. Oh, he is selling not charms. These are plus one strength. They invoke strength. Hmm. All right, well, is there anything I want to sell? Actually, I'll do this off screen again, everyone. I'll be back. Okay, everyone, that was quick. Vendored anything I don't think I'm going to absolutely... Uh, anything I know I'm not going to use got vendored. So that was the Enchanted Axe. A Heart Grinder got vendored. Certainly hope he knows what to do with an artifact. We killed the demon or banished it again, so hopefully it won't show up anymore to reclaim it. And that's about it. Let's go ahead and get out of here. And let's go see Marta. And see if she knows. I, I guess we'll see if she Done. really was Ravel. I guess she'll be gone if she really wasn't her. I'm gone. Man, I'm nervous about this. I 
you saw her here for half the half a second she was here. But I think that was the game just m realizing that she wasn't supposed to be here. Affirmative. Okay, I guess she really was Ravel then. Let's continue with the teleports. So we're going to use this. And then we'll teleport to a different location. We need charms. Which I didn't purchase at Quince. Right. So let's go... Let's go to... Rackpicker Square. Let's save the game as well. My goodness. Oh man. Just I'm smiling as I remember all these places we've been and all the people we've met and helped. Nod, how are all you right. doing? You see Nod walking about, nodding and mumbling away to himself. Greetings, Nod. Hi. There's the man who helped Nod find his sister. Hi. Pretty Amaris. Nod thanks ye. Once more. Farewell, Nod. All right, I guess. She is here. All right. I hear your words. Is she actually Ravel? I'm here. A pleasure. As you enter, Mabeth looks up, her face ashen. She looks ill. As you watch, creases spread across the folds of her face like cracks, and her gray eyes flicker, as if having trouble focusing on you. Mabeth, are you all right? I... She smiles weakly, her voice is scratchy, as if trying to force its way past layers of dust. When she speaks, it is like an echo. I have... A little longer. Mabeth, did you know you were Ravel? She takes a deep breath. Her words come slowly, her voice rattling in her throat. Mayhap. Mabeth has forgotten herself many times over. I have dreamed I was someone else. Each word is heavier than the last, as if centuries of weight are pressing down on them. Her body seems to shift slightly, as if wanting to relax, let go. How could you not know who you are? How is it ye do not know yourself? Beth licks her lips. Many things. Even bits of the self. They fall through memory's cracks. Shadows of things forgotten. These memory thing pieces. Maybe bad. Maybe good. But why, Mabeth? Why the disguise when you could have been Ravel again? Here, in this place, all I did was the mending of things and bodies. Set in bones, delivering babies. In all these things, I was content. As for being that other, that Ravel, she licks her lips again. I think ye take for granted what a comfort it would be, off times, to misplace a memory or two. I wasn't sure if you would be here, Mabeth, after what happened. Mabeth nods. Every movement is pained. I, my precious one. She winces as she takes a breath. Seeing ye here, it is like an echo. Little time remains. The threads, these ravels, they are unraveling as we speak. Are you in pain? She nods. Yes. It is the irony which hurts the most. She gives a sickly smile. An act of kindness, thrice repaid. It is the way of the plains that my few acts of kindness should be the death of me. <laughs> Yet, I have no regrets. 
I have questions, Mabeth. I need to know who did this to you. Can you... She holds up her hand to silence you. Precious man, I would have ye hear me this last time. Very well. Precious man, all I wished to do was to set the lady free of her cage. For ye, all I wished for ye was to live. And for me daughter, I... Is there a saying on the plains that a hag's kindness is crueler than her hate and poisons all it touches? I'm sorry things turned out as it did. If I could have saved you, I... She smiles slightly. I do not regret what has happened, my precious. Her smile fades. Nor should ye. Her eyes film over and her gaze loses focus. And I... can stay here... no longer. Farewell, Ravel. We have to be the one to do it. There can be no other incarnations of this nameless one. Too many pieces are no longer around to complete the puzzle again. It's up to us to do it. But first, we're gonna buy a bunch of charms. So let's go use the Bodron Cube and head on over back to Merchant Square. I guess we'll visit Vashikras. I hate going there. But she actually sells some useful things, and I could use those useful things. So, let's take the portal lens and go to the clerk's ward. Oh no, oh no, game, no, no, okay, oh, whoo, thank god. So we'll go here. All right. And then... I guess we'll then go back to the brothel and we'll see her daughter and tell her about Ravel. And then what am I going to do? I'm thinking it might be in her best interest to level up a little bit. It will take quite a bit All of right. doing. But I can Done. go into Under Sigil to do that off screen. I like to earn a level 8 spell so I can try casting.